Tasmania. 68,401 square kilometres of mountainous terrain. An adventure playground full of incredible history, epic locations and rare minerals hidden in some of the hardest places to get to on the planet. My mates and I have refined our techniques over the years and learned how to explore, traverse, prospect these remote areas for three reasons. Enjoy the wilderness, have some fun, and maybe find some gold. Once you find a bit of shiny and you're onto a spot that you know is going to keep giving it, it's hard to fight the urge to not go back there every spare second you can and get a little more. But that's not really for me. I like checking out new spots. I've got a good catalogue of places where I can find some gold. The downside is you're trying to balance that between do I go back and mine it or do I go find the next one. If you want to go look for gold, you've got a rough idea how to do it. You need a pan and a shovel, and you need to go to a batch of bush that's probably going to have some gold. How do you find that batch of bush? Get an old book. Find books on your area. Find books on your location or close to it. I've got lots of books. Lots and lots of books. This one is one of my favourites by Charles Whittam. It's about Western Tasmania, land of riches and beauty. Um, I regularly go through this to find new locations where I can possibly get in there with the boys, maybe camp, maybe actually access a creek that's got potential. You need to plan your trip. Now, I don't take all my gear in on every trip. 90% of the trips we do are a reconnaissance trip. We'll go in there as far as we can, see if we can actually get to the place we want to get to to pan. Find a book, find the locations with your maps, and go. It's that simple and that difficult. And there's nowhere to turn around. So our option at this point is to pull the chainsaw out in this beautiful patch of forest and try and make our track or turn around and head back. What do you reckon?
We got another tunnel just here. This one's collapsed in a bit though. That one is dry. Isn't that cool? Tunnels here everywhere. And you notice too they're a bit evenly spaced, they're like 20 foot apart. That's where they were testing the roof. Been cut out. Wait. Oh yeah, they've trenched it. Goes all the way back. Sneak up that side. Look at that, it just they've trenched it all the way up there. Another big tunnel in there. That's alright, that's all I needed to know. Ooh, wicked. Well, we got gold. A couple more bits in there than I thought, actually. 